Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. I'm Sister Naomi. And I am Sister Miriam. And we'll be hosting Sabbath School Online. Let's start by greeting everyone who joined us this lovely morning. Welcome to Sabbath School, children, children. Welcome to Sabbath School, children. Welcome to Sabbath School, teachers, teachers. Welcome to Sabbath School, teachers. Welcome to Sabbath School, Jesus, Jesus. Welcome to Sabbath School, Jesus. Welcome to Sabbath School, everyone, everyone. Welcome to Sabbath School, everyone. I hope you had an amazing week with your family and friends. I know that God has been good to me this week and I praise him for it. What's your praise report for this week? Now that we've welcomed everyone, let's pray. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this blessed Sabbath day that you have been with each and every single one of us. Father God, we ask that we may be able to worship you in spirit and in truth. We ask that, Lord, as we come together as one in Christ, we ask that, Lord, that you will bless our families, bless our friends. Keep us from harm's way. We ask that you will allow us, Lord, to increase in your word and your wisdom and your truth. We ask that we may continue to be the light for others and we may speak of your good name of your death, your resurrection, and your coming. We ask that, Lord, that you bless our family and friends. Keep us underneath your watchful eye. Bless this day. Bless each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, I humbly do pray. Amen. 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 At this time, we wish all those who are celebrating this birthday this week a very happy birthday. We pray that God will continue to bless you as you grow in his grace and favor. Before we start, this would be a good time to pause the video and begin writing out this week's lesson and the memory verbs. Ready? Ready? Let's, Let's begin. begin. Hello, boys and girls. This is Aunt Fernita, and I have a wonderful story for you called Follow Me. Today's memory verse is from John chapter 15, verse 14. It says, you are my friends. The message for today's story is Jesus calls us to be his friends. When you hear some good news, what do you do? Do you tell someone about it? Maybe you like to tell your brother or your sister or your mommy or daddy. Maybe you want to tell a friend. It's fun to share good news. One day, a fisherman named Andrew talked to Jesus. He was sure Jesus was the Savior he had heard about. Andrew wanted to tell someone the good news, so he went to find his brother Peter. A few days later, early in the morning, Jesus saw Peter and Andrew and their friends James and John by the seashore. The men had fished all night long and were washing and mending their nets. Everyone knew that nighttime was the best time for fishing. People began to come down to the seashore to see Jesus. Jesus looked at the fishing boats. Hmm. He decided to climb into one so that he could go out a little way from the shore. This way, all the people could hear him speak. So Jesus talked to the people for a while. Then he turned to Peter. Peter, put your nets out in the deep water and catch some fish, Jesus said. Peter was surprised. Sir, we have fished all night long and we haven't caught any fish, but we will do as you have asked, he said. So Peter and his brother Andrew tugged at their nets. They knew that daytime was not the best time to catch fish, but they put their nets into the water again anyway. Suddenly their nets were filled with more fish than you could count. The nets were so heavy with fish that Peter and Andrew called to James and John to help them. Hey guys, come over here and help us. James and John came over and helped them. They too were surprised to see so many fish. When the nets and the fish were in the boats, Jesus turned to the four fishermen. Follow me, he said, and you will be fishers of men. 
Jesus meant that they would help him tell other people about God's love so that people would want to follow God. Peter and Andrew, James and John wanted to help Jesus. They wanted to tell other people about this man who did such wonderful things. So they left their fishing boats and their nets and all those fish behind and they went to help Jesus. Peter, Andrew, James, and John became special helpers for Jesus. For the rest of their lives, they told others about Jesus and his love. You too are Jesus' special friend. You can be a helper for Jesus, just like his disciples. You can tell others about him too. This podcast was brought to you by gracelink.net and Studio El Piso in Singapore. For more children's resources, please visit gracelink.net. Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope that you enjoyed today's story. Follow me. Our story can be found in Luke 5, verses 1 through 11. Luke 5, verses 1 through 11. So it was, as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God, that he stood by the lake of Genesaret and saw two boats standing by the lake, but the fishermen had gone from them and were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land, and he sat down and taught the multitude from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were breaking. So they singled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, and he, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will catch men. And so when they had brought their boats to land, they forsook all and followed him. And John 1, verses 35 through 42. John chapter 1 verses 35 through 42. Again the next day, John stood with two of his disciples, and looking at Jesus as he walked, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned and seeing them following, said to them, What do you seek? They said to him, Rabbi, which is to say, when translated, teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying and remained with him that day. Now it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon's Peter brother. He first found his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Now when Jesus looked at him, he said, You are Simon, the son of Jonah. You shall be called Cephasus, which is translated a stone. Today's memory verse can be found in John 15, verse 14. John 15, verse 14. You are my friend if you do whatever I command you. In today's lesson, we learned about the first disciples and how they followed Jesus. After John the Baptist baptized Jesus, Jesus began to incur a following of people because John had said that he is greater than I, referring to Jesus. The first followers were Andrew and his brother Simon Peter, then James and John, who were also fishermen. Peter and Andrew hadn't caught any fish that morning, so they were about to quit for the day when Jesus came upon their boat. Peter didn't know Jesus yet, but Andrew knew who Jesus was. Jesus initially had stepped on the boat to create distance from the people so that everyone could hear him. But soon after, Jesus told Andrew and Peter to cast out into the deep waters once again to fish. 
They had just finished cleaning their nets, putting their things away, because their work that night was fruitless. And yet, despite all this that seemed to be against them, they obeyed Jesus. Their obedience catched them more fish than they could even carry, to the point that they had to call out to James and John for a second boat. And yet, there were still more fish. Jesus never forces anyone to be his friend nor his follower. Rather, he always gives us a choice to follow him. Jesus said that if we obey him, then we are his friends. And Jesus always helps his friends. Peter, Andrew, James, and John became Jesus' disciple. And Jesus told them that they would be fishers of men. In the same way that Jesus helped Andrew and J Peter catch many fish, Peter and Andrew would go out and find people who would also want to follow Jesus and become disciples. When we help one another, we are acting like Jesus' disciples. Parents. Please take the time to help answer the following questions with your children. Question 1. When Jesus came near, what did he ask the two brothers to do? Question 2. What happened when Andrew and Peter went fishing again? Question 3. What did Jesus mean when he said to Peter, Andrew, James, and John that they would be fishers of men? And question 4. Do you know that Jesus wants you to be his special friend and helper? How can we do that? In summary, this reminds us that sometimes God will ask us to do difficult things or even strange things that don't always make sense. However, God is always working for our good because God loves us and wants us to be happy. In the same way that Jesus cared for Peter and Andrew, James and John, is the same way that he cares for us. In the same way, when we obey God and help others, it is like we are helping Jesus. When we show our community the same love and care that Jesus shows us, we are growing the community of God. As we pray, let us thank God for at least one great thing that he has done for us. So bow your heads and close your eyes to pray with us. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart lord jesus come in today come in to stay come into my heart lord jesus dear my father we thank you for this day we thank you for just being with us and keeping us and watching over us Lord, we ask that as we go into a new week that your Holy Spirit just go before us, that you continue to surround us and hold us and protect us and provide for us as you always done. Lord, we just thank you for just keeping us and for watching over us and for loving us so, so much because we can never thank you enough for it. So we just say thank you for your sacrifice and for your love and most of all for Jesus. Lord, as we continue to draw near to you, Lord, as we continue to learn more about you, we ask that you just continue to guide us and lead us in your word and in your, in your commandments, that you help us to demonstrate our faith and trust in you by doing what you say. Lord, we ask that you just continue to open our eyes to things in your word and that as we learn more about you, that we become more and more like you every day. Lord, we want to be your follower and your special helper. So, Lord, help us to be that and to do that every single day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us in Sabbath School Online. Just like Bob and Larry always says, God made you special and he loves you very much. Shalom.